Steve Jobs to Kobe Bryant to Kate Spade, George Lang has captured celebrities all around the world for the last several decades. He's now returned home to Pittsburgh ahead of the release of his new book featuring some of his favorite pictures and the stories behind them. So we want to thank George for coming on the show today. This is truly an honor to have you here. Well, thanks so much. Your, your images, there's so much life and story behind each one of them. So I don't know how you selected them for your book, but it's it's truly amazing. Well, when I moved back to Pittsburgh four years ago, I tapped into this feeling that I had growing up, which was this very specific feeling of joy. Yeah. I had a very happy childhood. And this feeling of joy was not so much about happiness as about connecting with people. Mm -hmm. And once I started putting pictures up on the wall, I realized when I moved back to Pittsburgh, that feeling is running through all my pictures. And I've spent my adult life trying to create this feeling I had as a child. I love that. And, and when I understood that, I started writing about it last fall and, and put the book together. So what was it that made you pick up a camera to begin with? Because there's this picture that you've shared with you holding a camera around your neck. And how old were you? About Seven. Seven, okay. Um, and you said, you know, you had this really happy childhood. But, but what made you, what drew you to the camera? The camera was a key into people's lives. It allowed me to connect. And I've had this wild run all over the world and with celebrities and with the people, my neighbors and with my friends. And it's always the same. It's, well, there's a picture of Kate Spade. <laughs> so this picture, I was going in to do a cover of a magazine with Kate Spade. They wanted a headshot. I walk into her office and she's painting her toenails at her red lacquer desk, putting this pink toenail polish on. And I said, can I take a picture? And she goes, sure. This was the picture of the day. Well, but it's, yes, because it's, it's human. It's, it shows her as this busy CEO trying to make everything work, and yet she still has to find time to paint her toenails before you come in. <laughs> but, in but in all of our lives, there are these moments. Yes. There are these moments with our kids every day. There are these yeah. moments with, the, with our friends. I was at breakfast at uh, Pamela's the other day with my buddies, and I'm looking around, and there are those moments there. Right. And uh, I've just been able to capture them. You were talking about not having a good memory before. It's like, I have the same problem, but my pictures are my memory. They are, right? They help us remember those things. So what have you found in moving back to Pittsburgh? Because you have photographed so many celebrities and I mean, your, your career is, um, it's an amazing story of your life. Well, thank you. My dad used to always tease me that I don't get excited about celebrities. I treat them like everyone else. Yeah. And, but I treat everyone special. I treat, if we were taking pictures today, of course, you would be really special. I have this parade of people that I photographed from that very first picture when I was seven to Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and all these celebrities to, I just finished the um, annual report for the Richard King Mellon Foundation that I met the most extraordinary people that they've contributed to. Um, and, and I treat everyone the same yeah. and get so much out of them. And, and the pictures are about that. And even, I mean, look, this is... Oh. This is Sophia Loren. Yes. She came into this shooting. It was for Allure magazine. She comes in, wraps herself in a towel, gets a glass of wine, and does her own hair and makeup. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, but you've been able to see some of these intimate moments and capturing them. Do you always ask them, hey, can I take this picture? Yes. This is the one that I want to take? Yes, but, you know, when I come in... I'm so excited, just like being here. I'm so excited to be back in Pittsburgh. I'm so excited to be on television in Pittsburgh. And, and coming back here, it's just, when you're excited about someone, they are open to sharing. And my photo shoots are very short. They're almost less than an hour. Yeah. This picture I'm so proud of. I'm the photographer for the Pittsburgh Symphony now. This is that so last cool. picture was a picture that I, it was the first picture that I took for them, the youngest, person in the symphony, Sean Jewell. And he's 22 years old, he's just out of Juilliard. He comes to this photo shoot and he's thinking, this is gonna be boring, getting my picture taken. He picks yeah. up his thing. I said, Sean, stab my lens. <laughs> he goes, what? He says, you have an expensive lens, I have an expensive cello bow, I'm not gonna do that. Viola, viola bow. And um, I said, stab my lens. And this picture became the signature picture for the symphony. It was everywhere. So sometimes you capture these raw moments. You know, you walk in on Kate Spade painting her toenails, but there are other times where you have to get creative to find that joy, to find that energy. How does that, how do you find that? I find it, I mean, I was, we were having dinner last night 
and my 12 year old's doing the dishes towards the end of dinner and he's making up songs in the kitchen and we're <laughs> all crying. We are laughing so hard at the dinner table. That's the exact same energy yeah. and the exact same thing as I'm bringing to my pictures every day. Well, because this, there's this reoccurring theme of joy and this is something that you tell people when you're about to photograph them too, right? Well, what I tell everyone when I'm about to photograph them at the very beginning is I say, our mission is to put love out in the world. I've told that to the Obamas. I told that to an executive in New York last week. Every single shoot, I begin with that. And it's a crazy thing to say, but I feel like we have to set our intention. And it's not about your celebrity. It's not about how famous or rich or whatever it is. It's about us getting together and finding something special and sharing it with the world. You radiate joy, I have to tell you. Since you <laughs> sat down in this chair, I haven't stopped smiling. And I'm, I'm so glad that you're back here in Pittsburgh. And are you happy to be back? Your career has taken a, a turn so in happy. the best way. Pittsburgh, I never expected to move back here. And now that I'm here, it's like, how could I ever have missed this this moment and they say you can't go home again yeah and we have a lot of boomerang people in pittsburgh i'm one of them and you definitely can i am too i i like you was in new york and i was like i have to go home i think i think i <laughs> never imagined what would happen but the the generosity and the love and the opportunities here are just in just amazing. When is your book going to be out? When can people My find book it? will be out the beginning of November. It's on pre-sale now on all the places, including Amazon. And um, I am just thrilled to be in Pittsburgh. I'm so happy that you stopped by to talk with us for a little bit. Thank you so much. Thank you.